Welcome back. You are watching my Air Miles, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how YouTubers synchronize up their audio using DaVinci Resolve if they are recording on multiple devices. So, for example, I am recording right now using my Canon EOS M50 with the Rode Video Micro microphone attached to it. But I'm also recording my screen using OBS and I have my Blue Yeti microphone attached to my computer. So I'm recording audio from two sources and what if I want to find out which one's better or if I know that, for example, my Blue Yeti is going to sound better than the, let's say I was using the onboard camera microphone then I would want to replace that audio without having a, a synchronization problem with my face. So the way that you do this is when you start recording, you have to make two or three identifiable spikes in the audio. And normally we do that by clapping. Some people snap, but something that's identifiable that you'll definitely see a spike in the audio. And what you're gonna do in DaVinci Resolve is we're gonna align those audios up and, and then cut whichever audio out that we don't want. So let's jump into it. We've got these two clips in our media bin and this is basically how I create these tutorials. You take your OBS and you put it into the first track and bring it to the start of the timeline. And then I layer on top of that my video clip with my face. So now you can see that that's in the second track in the timeline. So think of these are two bits of paper. The first track is the bottom and the video track is with my face is the second track on the top. And that's kind of why they're stacked like that because you can see which bit of paper or which tr um, media clip is stacked on top of the other one. And I'll come back to this in a later tutorial when I further explain how green screening works because I had a few confused viewers and I want to come and explain that this is basically how green screening works. So if I want to resize the video clip of my face. I can just make sure I select that video clip, make sure I drop down here, click on the transform tool, and I can drag any corner and just bring that down to the size I want. So you can see that that's now on top of the DaVinci video that's below it, and I can then drag it and resize it. I'll put it to the left for this demonstration, but normally I would put it to the right for my video clips. Next thing I would do is likely drop down, crop, and quickly bring in this to the bottom of my shoulders so that you don't have any of the edges of the green screen in the video. Okay, so now that we've got our clips on the timeline, the next thing you want to do is synchronize up these two spikes. Now, as you can see, this is my claps. Now you heard that they were out of sync. That's no good. You don't want your claps to be out of sync. So what I do is I find the clip that has the claps further forward in the timeline and I set my timeline marker to that clap. That means I can move the one that's further behind along the timeline to match it. So I then click on the plus and this zooms me in so I can see what's going on. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to match this spike as close as possible to this spike here in the second track. So we take this clip we make sure that the uh, magnetic sort of uh, snapping tool is not turned on um, and you move the clip forward until you get it as close as possible. That's probably too far. That's probably about right. And then we see how it sounds. So we'll zoom back out. That's within a millisecond of each other, right? Now it's, not perfect, but it will be fine. And I'll show you that by what I'll do is I'll play it first for you where you can just hear the audio coming from the Rode Video Micro on the camera. Then I'll play it with the audio from the Blue Yeti. And you'll be able to hear which one sounds better and also watch my face to see if the audio is synced up with my lips. Okay, here we go. So camera audio first. Welcome back. You are watching My Air Miles. Please like, share and subscribe for more drone videos and video editing tutorials using DaVinci Resolve. Okay, and now we'll play the same clip using just the Blue Yeti audio. 
Welcome back. You are watching My Air Miles. Please like, share and subscribe for more drone videos and video editing tutorials using DaVinci Resolve. Okay, another way that we can do this actually, and this is kind of out of the scope of this video, but when some YouTubers review microphones, you'll often hear them jumping between different microphones. And there's multiple ways of doing that. But one that you might want to do if you want to be sure of where the clips are so that you can put text above them to say, this is where I changed it, is you could now split this up, right? So if I was to cut this after the clapping across all tracks and delete that, take all of these tracks, just make sure they're back to the start of the timeline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag my, my timeline and I'm just gonna go split there, split there, split there, split there, for example. What I might do is say, take out audio from there, 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 and there. Uh, there. So now you'll see that the audio is going to constantly jump back and forth between the two different audio sources and you'll be able to tell which one you think sounds better. Okay, so there's no content there. Get rid of that. And what I'll do is I'll whack up the main audio volume. So then you might take text and bump text up on the next track above the, uh, the video. And here I'm going to say Blue Yeti. If I copy that, and I just paste that over the two Blue Yeti parts. And then if I take a new text, put it above up on the next track and say road video micro. And bring that down and again, copy it and paste it and drag that out to match the end of the clip. So now I've got the text on the screen telling you which microphone you're hearing. I've got the audio switching between two audio sources and you can tell that there is no synchronization problems between the audio and my face. So let's see how the finished product looks. Welcome back. You are watching My Air Miles. Please like, share and subscribe for more drone videos and video editing tutorials using DaVinci Resolve. And there you have it. That's how you manage multiple audio sources if you want to synchronize them, cut them and edit them in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and share on all your social media. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.